A few days to Saturday's governorship and state assembly elections in Nigeria, and it's a critical one for Lagos State. Governor Babajide Sonwolu is seeking a second term in office under the platform of the All Progressives Congress APC, has stressed the need for residents of the state to re elect him for continuation of the good work he has done. In this episode of Inside Lagos, we bring you stories about some of his achievements in office. Amade Doja, Salam Adeni, and you're welcome to Inside Lagos. And it's your day, go in here, cook on. I want to say, so excellence. And your day, go in here, cook on. I want to say, so. When you pay, go over there, go in here, cook on. I want to say, so. I want you to go to the only time to say. I want to say, so. I want to say, so. I want to say, so. It's a Black Thursday for Lagos State civil servants and the state as a whole. This is a triage medical system created at the front of surgical emergency at the Lagos State University Teaching Hospital where emergency of this magnitude can be easily profiled, attended to and determine the level of injury sustained by victims. Some of the injured have gone for x-ray, others rushed to the theater, intensive care unit and wards for further observations. In a press briefing at Lassoth, Governor Sonwolu is deeply saddened by the incident, says Staff Bus No. 33, moving from Isolo heading towards Alausa, has 85 passengers, mostly civil servants. Uh, out of all these 102, uh, about 45 of them were very serious injuries, um, and then the rest were uh, classified as, as moderate or mild. For this, all public functions and political campaigns in Lagos have to be on hold. Lagos state flags and political flags should be, you know, raised, you know, at half mass for the next um, three days. We're actually also declaring a three-day, you know, money for us as a state. I will also be suspending my campaign uh, for the next three days. There will not be any form of public engagement or any form of campaigning um, during this period so that we also can and join a family in the morning. Governor Son will also appeal to Nigerians to assist the victims. Last suit will be collecting um, blood donors. You know, so we want to encourage the public who wishes to donate blood to comfort. We have more than enough blood to take care of all of the patients. But indeed, as is done everywhere, you need to restock back that 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 bank. We can only wish them well and pray that things like this, God will, you know not let it happen to us. So we, we, Nigeria is really looking up to good times and um, a time of prosperity and not this one. This is really, uh, you know, a blow to us. The governor thanked the entire staff of Lassoth for the level of commitment, the display and the immediate response to the call to duty to save lives. Meanwhile, Governor Babajide Sonwulu and some state cabinet members have paid a condolence visit to the family of Esther Okosu, a staff of Lagos Internal Revenue Service, LIRS, that was lost to the unfortunate bus train accident. The governor also paid a condolence visit to the home of a youth corps member that was lost at the bus train accident late Miss Aino Oreolua Juliana, seven with the Ministry of Education. Mr. Sonwulu also visited the home of 54-year-old Mrs. Victoria Johnson Nidada, a social welfare officer of Lagos State University Teaching Hospital, Lassoth, who lost her life in that same incident. Media Souls. Rest in peace. <laughs>
Despite various challenges like the COVID-19 pandemic and NSAS protests that ravaged Lagos a few years ago, Governor Babajide Sonwolu has been able to deliver good governance to residents. Hence, he's been called Mr. Performer. As Nigerians get set for the governorship and state house of assembly elections on Saturday, the governor and his deputy, Obafemi Hamzat, are banking on their records and achievements in office for re-election. In this episode of Inside Lagos, we examine some of the achievements of this administration in the last three and a half years. Have a listen. <laughs> In fulfillment of his campaign promises, Governor Babajide Sonwulu has embarked on several projects to deepen development in Lagos. One of the critical sectors in which Governor Sonwulu has delivered is road infrastructure. The administration has completed and inaugurated several roads projects. These include the 34 roads at Koshofe, Shomolu, Victoria Island and Ikoyi areas of the state, as well as the 384 capacity multi-layer car park at Onikon. Other road projects completed and inaugurated by the administration include three network of roads at Oniru Victoria Island, Itiosa local government areas, as well as the Tedimuwo Link Bridge on the Lagos Ogun boundary in Alimosho and Agbado Kiodo access roads. The construction of the 3.89 kilometer long Ojota Opebi Link Bridge to decongest traffic in that axis is ongoing. The road projects at Ijede Phase 1 in Ikorodu, the 31 network of roads in Ojokoro local council development area, as well as the 13.68 kilometers Osho Diabule Babi RT corridor, have been completed and inaugurated by this administration. The administration also configured six junction and roundabouts at Arlen, Ikotsu, Maryland, Lekki 1 and 2, and Aja under its traffic management intervention plan. Traffic has been better now. At least I believe it's a bit more better rather than the roundabout that's been there before. So I think it's easy traffic can be. People are able to see the centers more. In the area of road maintenance, the state government did 110 palliatives and 361 sectional rehabilitations on roads across the state, while the Lagos State Public Works Corporation rehabilitated more than 600 inner roads. Major ongoing road projects include the Lekki Epe Expressway, Agriki Shawo Road in Ikorodu, Bolatinumbu Ibubu Itamaga Road, Obasekumade Road in Ipakodo Ikorodu, and the Itamaga to Iwolepe Town. The multimodal transportation system of this administration is on course. In the rail sector, the administration acquired 10 car intra-city metropolitan speed trains for its 37-kilometer Lagos Red Line project. Lagos has also acquired three sets of the Blue Line train, a 1,000-capacity carriage train each. On the 24th of January, President Mohamed Buhari inaugurated first phase of the Blue Line Rail running from Altu to Marina during his visit to Lagos. The president also witnessed the inauguration of the Lekki Deep Seaport, a multi-purpose deep seaport at the heart of the Lekki Free Trade Zone. We have approved important fiscal waivers required to deliver on key infrastructure projects, including custom duties for BRT buses, LAG ride vehicles, as well as rolling stock for the blue and red rail lines. In Ikorodu, in Ikeja, Ojokoro, Mushin, Sulere, Lagos Island, Ajeromi, Koyi, Victoria Island, Epe, Alimosho, Koshofe, Amu Odofi, in fact, in all nooks and crannies of the state. We have also equally completed over 120 palliative roads and 361 sectional rehabilitated ones and done about 650 inner roads. We're very proud of all we have been able to accomplish. And this is the reason for the confidence with which we're asking Lagosians to give us a second term in the forthcoming gubernatorial election. We will complete all our ongoing projects 
while also building on a very solid foundation laid in the very first. The visionary leader Ashwadu Tinumbu pioneered the idea of the Lagos Blue Line and many other revolutionary initiatives. The Tinumbu administration then developed what is called the Strategic Transport Master Plan, which laid out the foundation for a network of robust and modern transportation infrastructure befitting a 21st century city such as Lagos. President Buhari also inaugurated the world's fourth largest and African biggest rice mill situated in Imota. The rice mill will produce 32 metric tons per hour, 2.5 million bags of 50 kg rice per annum. The mill will generate about 1,500 direct jobs and 250,000 direct jobs to Lagosians. The Eco Rise is a bold step taken by the Lagos State Government to become self sufficient in food production. In the area of road transportation, Governor Sonwulu launched the Lag Ride with 1,000 units of sport utility vehicles, SUVs. The Governor also inaugurated four bus terminals at Mafoluku, Yaba, Oyibo, and Aja, as well as completed several bus shelters and depot to boost road transportation. The state government has delivered 14 new BRT stations as well as launched 500 units of first and last mile buses as alternative means of transportation and addressing security threats posed by commercial motorcycles popularly known as Okada. <laughs> In the area of water transportation, Lag Ferry now operates on 21 boats with eight new boats inaugurated by Governor Sonwulu with several modern life-saving equipment. To boost water transportation, the administration constructed several jetties on its waterways. In education, construction and rehabilitation of public schools have received attention. On the 28th of June 2022, the administration inaugurated a containerized 12 classroom block with facilities such as interactive touch screen, mini football pitch, and a multi sport court at the Vietnam Junior Grammar School, Ujokuru. The state government has also built and inaugurated 18 classroom school and recreational facilities in Elemoro Junior Secondary School. Elemoro is a big deal at Ibejuleki. 108 bed hostel and block of classrooms at Modu College at Ibokuta were also inaugurated. Construction, renovation and rehabilitation of blocks of classrooms and hostels are also ongoing across the education districts in the state. In addition, the state government upgraded two higher institutions to universities. The Lagos State Polytechnic was upgraded to the Lagos State University of Science and Technology, Ikorodu, while the Adeniro Gunsoya College of Education became the Lagos State University of Education, Ijaniki. The administration has completed and delivered the Lasso Students Arcade and embarked on the construction of 8,272 bed for students at the same institution. The Sonwulu administration has embarked on more than 1,000 school projects, including of 70 new school buildings and comprehensive upgrade of 970 public primary and secondary schools with supply of 86,000 draft furniture sets to 775 public schools. While the administration has provided 450,000 pupils with e-learning devices, it has also trained 18,000 teachers under the ECO Excel program. To boost teaching in the state, the administration presented brand new sport utility vehicles, SUVs, to outstanding teachers and school administrators. Never knew that I would be recognized in the bush where I was posted. I call it bush because it's very, very interior, Okumoko. I, I, it's a seaside. So well, I was just doing my thing. I was just trying to make impact in the community. And here am I standing beside a car because I actually needed a car. I never imagined it. Because let me tell you, we don't even have time to even, to even learn how to drive now. But with these challenges now, I have to go and learn to let you know that I'm very, very happy inside of me. And my students in court, they did this for me because without them, I can never be here. This is absolutely unexpected. It's wonderful. It's explosive. 
the administration has also made great impact in social and economic interventions. There are more youths in aquaculture and poultry farming, solar farming construction, as well as thousands of graduates from the 19 skills acquisition centers across the state. The state government has also trained 1,050 rural women on how to boost output in agriculture production, equal access to markets, and empowered more than 1,000 residents in the third phase of the mega empowerment program. It has empowered 600 women with ingenious business ideas to the tune of 4 billion naira through the Lagos State Empowerment Fund initiative. Artisans that are in Lagos are ready to take the future forward. And so that's why you can see that what Lagos State is about is to help you realize that future from today. All of the trainings that we've given to you, all of the equipment that we've purchased in partnership and we've handed over to you, it's because we want you to not feel belittled by anybody. You are our pride. You are the pride of our own state. You are the pride of your individual profession. And you need to raise up, stand up, stand counted, and feel proud of the profession that you have stand for and that you are doing so very well. This is drilling machine. For me to drill wood or plywood, Instead to use a chisel, very easier and faster. On workers' welfare, the state government has paid 38 billion naira to 9,865 retired civil servants, as well as 585 million naira to the families of deceased public servants as insurance benefits. Another program of this administration with great impact on residents is Sonwolu Lessons which the governor has used to touch many lives directly. Sonwolu Listens is a social welfare program designed to provide financial assistance to the poor and vulnerable citizens in Lagos State. They purchase the, uh, uh, they call it? They purchase this for me. Since the operation, since the amputation, uh, operation. I've not been able to walk. I can't go to anywhere. I could not go anywhere. So I was just, I would be in my sitting room looking, praying until when uh, I wrote a letter to that particular department. Yes, we, so we can get in. And uh, it's like a prayer, and the prayer was answered. So I will do. He's a talented administrator, and he's a grassroots man. Because if you are not a grassroots man or grassroots grassroot person, you will not, in the first place, you will not have created such department looking for the welfare of the people. Those who cannot eat thrice in a day with that uh, department they located them and uh, someone who made them happy when somebody do good or does good <laughs> your mind will be praying for that person without open my mouth to pray for to know, um, for someone who my 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 spirit is praying for him up to today. My noble told me about it. I said, let me give it a try. And it came out well. And they gave me money, 250000 With the help of the money, I was able to stock my shop, buy my gen. Before, I don't have generator. But now, with the help of the gen now, at least, once customers come around, be able to make them comfortable. Like, I have, I will put on my AC, my fan, then also dry their hair too. He really tried for me. I want to say thank you so much. In the housing sector, the administration has completed and handed over 48 units of Greater Lagos LBIC apartments in Ogbaijai, Penn Cinema at Agege. Other housing projects completed and inaugurated by the administration include 480 units in Ibeshi Kurudu, 774 units of Lagos homes in Shungotedo Phase 1, 100 housing units in Ikati, Lekki Phase 1, 
384 units in Lekki Phase 2, as well as the 360 home units comprising 120 unit homes in Igbobo Ikurudu. The governor has also inaugurated 252 units in Idale Badagri, as well as the 132 home units at the BRF housing estate Ikmori Surulere, among others. He has also handed over apartment keys to 492 beneficiaries of the Latif Jakondi housing estate Igondo. The health sector has received a boost with the completion of the modern child centers in Ekpe, Etiosa, Aja, Badagri and Igondo. The administration has also embarked on reconstruction of the new Massey Street Children's Hospital, making it the biggest children's hospital in Africa. The building is sitting on 4,000 square meters. It is on a site of 14,000 square meters, and it will be 150 beds, multidisciplinary, specialist, pediatric hospital, probably the only one of its kind in sub-Saharan Africa when we're completed. Environmental regeneration has also received the desired attention with acquisition of 102 compacted trucks and 100 double dino beans for the use of Lagos Waste Management Agency, LOMA. The agency acquired a briquette facility which can process about 1,700 kilograms of sun dust per hour in Agboa Ikorodu. Loma also launched the Lagos State Blue Box Recycling at the Simpson Transfer Loading Station in Lagos Island. The state government cleared 96 primary channels and 222 secondary channels. We need to commend the FR team because they are very central to the defrauding program of Lagos State Government. This FR team was set up in 2003 and they've done a tremendous job. Until when we had a, break, a breaking point between 2015 and 2019. But Governor Sonolu has brought them back. I'm sure most negotiators can confirm what they have done all over Lagos. They have been able to deflow. We, we have not witnessed the kind of flooding that they have witnessed in other parts of the world or in other parts of Nigeria. In the tourism and entertainment sector, the administration has disbursed 200 million naira as loan to 37 Nigerian filmmakers. The administration has inaugurated the new Glover Hall and the J.K. Randall Center for Yoruba Culture at Onikon, Lagos, which was part of the project inaugurated by President Muhammadu Buhari during his state visit to Lagos. It's a very, very positive development from Lagos State Government because the generation that is now on, the incoming generation, they have actually, in a way, detached from our heritage. We don't have self-confidence. We don't have a sense of your history. But in this museum, it will encourage more Yoruba people to actually be interested in their own origins. The state government has recovered nine youth centers at Lagos Island, Badagri, Ikeja, Magudu, Abeson, Akuonjo, Ikurudu, Ekpe, and Isheri Magudu, while it is constructing a film city on 100 hectares of land at Ejiri in Ekpe local government area. For effective security and emergency management, the administration donated security equipment worth billions of naira to the police. This include 180 patrol vehicles, 200 patrol motorcycles, four high-capacity troop carriers, two anti-riot cannon vehicles, armored personnel carriers, and 1,000 security gadgets. In October 2022, Governor Sonwulu inaugurated firefighting equipment, including 62 trucks and support vehicles for the Lagos State Fire and Rescue Service. In areas of safety of life and properties, 
as well as timely response to emergencies when they do occur. We have taken steps to invest in risk mitigating against natural and man-made disasters like flooding, fire outbreak, collapse of building and otherwise, which could negatively impact the lives of our citizens, shatter their dreams and deplete their hope for a better tomorrow. As a responsive and irresponsible government, and in keeping faith with security and good governance pillar on our team's agenda, our administration embarked on a journey to put Lagos State Rescue Service Agency under a farm pedestal through human and equipment re-engineering program. We set out to match the speed of our city's development and the attainment of risk with highly motivated fire service personnel who are equipped with the latest state-of-the-art fighting equipment customized in for our own terrain. Visa more, the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, and his deputy, Obafemi Hamzat, have done to fulfill their campaign promises to residents of Lagos State. The last leg of the 2023 general election is few days away, and Lagos is one of the prominent states where the polls will be taking place. So do not hesitate to take part in it. It's your right. And that's what we have for you on this episode of Inside Lagos. Many thanks for being a part of it. Amadi Doja. Salam Adini.